Malaka Street by election will be held on 20 December 2021. It is a platform for Prati K. Dilyan Rakyat to promote and encourage women candidates to be a part of an allied decision making group. Prati Kadilin Rakyat, or famously known as the People's Justice Party, was formed in 2003. Honorable Fuzia Binti Saleh has served as a member of parliament for Kuantan since a long time. She is a member of the People's Justice Party. She is a person with a long term vision on women empowerment. She firmly wants to make women a part of decision making in the state administration. She is the most vibrant woman in Malaysia who is not afraid to voice out her opinion and does her best for women empowerment. She is allocating more women candidates in the Malacca state election. One of such candidates is Asmoni Binti Tambe. She is a diploma holder in entrepreneurship and business management. Fuzia Binti Saleh has recently debated over the budget 2022. One topic she debated is on gender responsive budgeting. In conversation with Mani Marin, Sufia, chief editor of Vice Asia News, she said that a gender responsive budget enables us to do analysis regarding how resources are spent on men and women. Her vision is clear. It will help to uplift women, increase their role in decision making of the state administration and in turn empower them. Her mission of empowering women is inspirational. We have just recently completed our budget debate for budget 2022 and one of the topics that I debated on is on the gender responsive budget. Why is a gender responsive budget important? Because a gender responsive budget enables us to do an analysis on the effectiveness on how resources are spent on women and men, boys and girls. Why is that um, the gender responsive budget, uh, what does it lead to? It leads to policies that enable us to ensure that we have gender mainstreaming. And gender mainstreaming will definitely uh, reduce the gap, the gender gap between men and women. As we can see, the women are not represented at the highest decision-making level. And uh, we can see that in parliament and we can see that also in the state assemblies. And that is why it's very important to ensure that the woman's voice is being heard at the highest decision-making level in the state. And here we are at the uh, state elections for Malacca and I am really hopeful that the people of Malacca will give emphasis on um, putting a women representative into the state assembly and it's the voice of women, the voice of our family, the voice of children and we have to listen to them because they are the future of this country and we need a gender balanced um, society.